Today, we're going to be creating this easy flash transition. This is one of the simple effects that you can add to your videos that really makes it stand out while being so simple. And to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to find a point in the video we want to apply our transition to. So I'm going to go with this part right here because it has a lot more energy as we can see. So to do this transition, all you have to do is right click, go over to new item and create a new adjustment layer. And then we're going to hit OK and bring it into our scene here. Now, I like to apply these directly in between our two clips. And if your adjustment layer isn't short like mine, I recommend using your arrow keys and making it six frames to just count six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then cut it on either side and put it in between your two clips, just like we have here. So next, what we want to do is we want to go over to effects and we are going to search up directional blur and we're going to drag and drop that on top of our adjustment layer. And then the next effect that we're going to add is brightness and contrast. And just super quick before we hop into this, I have to let you guys know about my editing packs and presets. Over on my website, I sell drag and drop easy to use editing packs that once you purchase, you'll have lifetime updates. I highly recommend going over and checking those out. Let's hop right into this video. Now on our adjustment layer, we're going to go directly in between our two clips, just like so. And we're going to turn our blur length up to something around 70. And we're going to set keyframe in the center. And then let's go to the beginning and reset it to zero. And then we'll go to the end and set it to zero as well. And I'm just going to drag that to the very end there. So we're going to have a clip just like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our adjustment layer again. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but this time with brightness. So in the center, we're going to keyframe brightness and contrast. We're going to turn brightness up and contrast up a little bit. And let's go to about here for this one and reset them. Let's see how this looks. That looks great there. Now you guys can tweak it to your own if you want to make this blur a lot longer or if you want to make it a little bit shorter or even if you want to move them to be a lot faster. It's totally up to you guys. But what I recommend doing before all that is highlighting these keyframes here at the beginning, right clicking on them and going over to ease out. Make sure that's ease out. It's going to be the complete opposites. It seems like the beginning keyframes would be ease in, but you want to do the opposite as ease out. And let me show you why. If I open up these little areas here for them, you guys could see this line goes right up or right up. It's, it's not very like curvy. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and hit ease out. And you guys can see it adds a little bit of curves to those lines. And we're going to highlight the last ones here. And we're going to do ease in. And we got that curvature again there. And it's just going to make it a lot more smooth. You guys can see how that looks there. So that's a super easy flash transition. In my opinion, I think it looks pretty great here. But I think it honestly looks the best when you use it on scenes like this. Let me show you guys this scene without the flash transitions. And then if you compare that to this, it's just something so subtle and so clean that adds so much to the video. And I really rock with them. Even if we just duplicate this and add it to different parts in this video, you don't own property. You don't own property. It's just so clean and honestly just messing around with these amounts here and tweaking them to your own liking and to like the settings the video will really help hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more videos just like this i recommend hitting subscribe and liking the video you should go check out this video right here i'll see you guys in the next video peace